In this class, we will be discussing about gradient. It is one of the important topics of electromagnetics. Let us try to understand gradient. But before we will go to gradient, we should understand something called as delta operator. Delta operator is given by del of del x of i cap plus del of del y of j cap plus del of del z of k cap. This is nothing but the partial differentiation or the variation along the x, the variation along the y and the variation along the z. Let us see how I can find the gradient. Let us say delta t is given to me where t is the temperature. So, the gradient would be delta t by del x i cap plus delta of del y of t j cap plus delta of del z of t k cap. Remember t is in scalar quantity as we have already discussed temperature is a scalar quantity. So, we are trying to find out the gradient of a scalar quantity. Now, the key point to note is gradient will always point in a direction where maximum change is happening. So, how it, how it is happening with this equation? Let us try to understand. Let me take a dosa plate. As you all would be knowing that the street shopkeeper used to make dosa. So, this is how the plate something look like. Now, as you know that they used to heat up the plate from the down in order to cook something. So, the every point on the surface will have a same temperature. Now, let's, uh, let us let me let me make that surface. So, let me make like this. So, this is my dosa plate imagine. Now, let us say the plate is like this. Now, okay. So, assume this is the surface of the plate. Now, and they are trying to heat up from the bottom. Okay. So, I have just marked this as an x axis, this is an y axis, and this is an z axis to understand this. So, I am heating this plate. This is the plane where we are heating it. We are, we are heating from the bottom. So, what happened? As you know that the plate will be made up of metal. So, every point in this surface will be sitting at same temperature. Now, if I take the temperature, the temperature at this point and this point, this point and this point, it would be almost same because, because the metal plate, the heat will be uniformly distributed. Now, if I look at this point and this point, again the heat would be same because this is also at the plane. Now, if I look at any point on the surface and any point in the air, will the temperature be same? The answer is no, there would be a temperature difference because the temperature on the plate and above some surface, there will be a heat, there is will be a temperature difference. So, what I can observe on the surface of plate, there is a variation, there is no variation, there is almost zero variation along the x, there is almost zero variation along the y, but there is a variation along the z axis. So, that is what you can observe. In that case, there will this variation will be almost 0, this variation will be almost 0, this will be something there. So, this is what, now what I said is it will always point in a direction of maximum change. So, that is nothing but along the z axis. But if I again look at the corners of the plate, which will be something like this, the corners of the plate, this part if I look, it would be something like this. Now, again if you observe, there will be no temperature difference along this axis, there would be no difference along this axis, but there is a variation along this point, right? Because I am talking about the edges. In the edges, there will be variation. Now, you can observe what is this? This is nothing but my y axis. So, there is a variation of temperature along the y axis and to this plane, this is the direction in which is perpendicular to this and to the above plane, this is the direction which is perpendicular to the plane. So, the gradient will always point in a direction of the maximum change which will be nothing but perpendicular to the plane what we are talking about. 